right, so we got this core support here. As you can see, here's the number. I did already kind of notice a little difference in similarities to the stock one. But uh, I'll pull the stock one out here, and then we'll put them side by side and see the comparison here. So, of course, to get first thing out of the way, you got to take all your headlights and all that off. Now, I've already taken quite a bit of this off already before, um, which I probably looped it before I said this or after. Yeah. So, we will get the headlights here, and then we'll get the harnesses all addressed where we can start shoving them in these holes as we start taking this apart. All right, basically what I'm doing now is taking everything from the original and I'm just like the bolts and all that. And as you can see, I'm just kind of putting them in the place of where I'm taking them off over here. Now, once I get everything off over here, I'll kind of come and walk you all through where all the bolts and stuff are. All right, guys, so right here, um, bolt wise, on the passenger side, there's two bolts on the left here. So you can see where my mouse is. Um, of course, you have the two lower like body mounts. There'll be one under here and one under here. And then inside the fender well, there's uh, three on the passenger side and three on the driver's side. And then on this side of the core support, there's an upper bolt uh, on this side not two. Other than that, that's about it for everything bolt-wise holding this core support together. All right, also when you take stuff off like this hood thing, make sure you kind of see which hole it came out of so you can kind of somewhat put it back. So take you some pictures because we're going to have to disconnect it right here. And um basically pull that cable through and because this thing ain't going to feed through there so that's where we're at on that now as you already know you got to take the condenser out so you're going to have to release the freon the correct way and bust these freon lines loose and these suckers can be tough so you got to kind of just take your time with them all right, so we got the condenser out of the way and the radiator, so that opens up a lot of room here. And I noticed here we got some hardware that goes in through to the fender. It's probably the same way on both sides, which looks like. So definitely got to get that off and out of the way. All right, guys, so once you get your old condenser out, just kind of swap everything over between these fasteners, the little intake. There's a horn that goes right here, which is laying right there. I decided to leave it off for now so I can make sure that these stay intact, and then I'll put this back on. But as of right now, since I have this out, I've been needing to build... A radiator shroud for my two electric fans here so I was like well now's the perfect timing to set that up in here and build a little shroud for 
the radiator. So I'm going to start that here and then I'll just loop y'all through that. But I'll make another video for just making that shroud right there. So stay tuned for that. All right, yeah, so right there, you know, I end the video with basically just removing the old one out, uh, swapping everything over bracket-wise and all that. But since I have it out, I've been needing to make a fan shroud to go around my two electric fans. So, you know, it'll be easier to do that with it all out and exposed. So this video here will just be the removal part. And the next video coming up, I'll make like the fan shroud video and then we'll do the install of this core support and then we'll on in with the rest of the stuff. Before I put the core support in, I attached the radiator and all that stuff to it already and I just carried it over there into one and put it into place and all that. So definitely stay tuned for the next video if you want to see the install of this core support and with everything else around it after that. So anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, keep it simple. Keep it sweet.